Back now with a proposal to do more than just recognize one of the most influential civil rights leaders in history. There is a pitch now in Virginia Beach to honor Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. in a way that doesn't exist there now. The proposal to put up signs along Virginia Beach Boulevard almost from end to end with Dr. King's name on those signs. So why now? And what does the city think about this? Tending your side's Brandy Cummings now with the plan and where it stands. Brandy? Tom Anita, Men of Faith wants to honor a man that has had widespread impact. They think this is the way to do it. But some Virginia Beach residents disagree. You see them in cities across our area, roadways bearing the name of civil rights leader Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Now there's a push to honor him in Virginia Beach. The impact that King uh, made on America affects us, not only uh, Georgia, Alabama, but it affects us here in Virginia. Men of Faith President Ron Taylor is leading the charge for change. You know, you're not changing the street name. All you're doing is taking the sign, right? Putting it over the Virginia Beach sign. In this September letter to the city's planning department, Taylor asked for a dedication to Dr. King at four intersections along Virginia Beach Boulevard, Birdneck, North Great Neck, Independence, and Newtown Road. Taylor says the concept has historical significance because it's believed that Dr. King once stayed in the SeaTac area during his visits. So if he say, stayed down in the SeaTac Birdneck area, Birdneck, and if you go follow Virginia Beach all the way to Northward, then you have Church Street, which connects. So Virginia Beach will connect the two. I would like to see consensus built, especially from the African American community, as to what they'd recommend. To get public opinion, last month the city held a virtual vote with nearly 1,600 responses. More than half opposed the plan. Both Mayor Sessoms and Taylor think the reason because citizens thought the road was going to be renamed. Because I think they're not educated on the facts. Both men believe with residents knowing the plan adds dedication signs but doesn't change the road name, it can move forward. I just don't see this being an issue, plain and simple. The only issue I see is trying to get the right, the right road selected. Now the comment period is over and it's ultimately up to the city manager to compile that data and then submit it to the council. We'll of course keep you posted on what happens. I'm Brandy Cummings, 10 on your side.